Hi, Kevin. Hello. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Great to see you. How are things? Yeah. Things are good. We're looking forward to your presentation. So Excellent. You're the last of the session and you're the only one talking about potassium ion batteries. As you see, you know, a lot of people talk about sodium, but you're the unique one in that sense. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, Sounds great. So we look forward to your talk. Yeah, whenever you're ready, just uh, kick off. Perfect. Um, yeah, thanks so much. And um, thanks for having me today. It's exciting to get to share a little bit about uh, potassium ion batteries um, and greetings from sunny California. Uh, we've got our, I'm calling from Pasadena this morning and uh, the weather's cleared up after some storms last week. Um, so yeah, very quickly, I'm, I'm Kevin Hurlbut. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Project K Energy Inc. We're an early stage clean energy, hard tech startup developing and commercializing potassium ion batteries for fast charging electric vehicles and um, affordable stationary storage. So I think that the um, in the kind of invitation to the talk, we the the sweet spot was something more technical than marketing, but uh, you know, less fundamental than, than research. But I think that for potassium ion batteries, the um, uh, the kind of it's such an early stage technology that a lot of the important and, and interesting questions, at least to talk about today, tend toward the, um, you know, the kind of the um, scientific and, uh, and, and researchy questions. So I'm going to lean into it and take the opportunity to kind of wear my researcher hat, which I don't get to do all that often anymore, uh, and, um, and chat about, uh, yeah, the, the kind of the, so, so three things I wanted to go through. One, the, the electrochemistry um, of you know, a potassium ion ba battery, how it's different from lithium ion uh, and, and sodium ion, which are the two uh, appropriate comparisons. And then two, talk about the applications, you know, given those uh, properties of the electrochemical system, uh, which applications do potassium ion ba batteries uh, make sense in. And then finally, I'll, I'll end it talking about some of the, uh, the research fronts, the, the, the questions that we need to look at and understand a little bit better um, to figure out, um, you know, how to get these deployed. So with that said, uh, to kick things off, I'll start with the electrochemistry of a potassium ion battery. Um, you know, the, it's, it's funny that the, if you just talk about potassium ion, uh, that's the technology that goes back to the late 19th century, if you're talking about primary cells, uh, so non-rechargeable. Um, and still today, you know, alkaline batteries have a lot of potassium ions active in the um, in the electrochemistry. But obviously, we're we're talking about a, a secondary cell, so something that can be recharged um, many many times. And that the kind of switch to think that potassium could start to make sense as a secondary battery with energy densities that are uh, you know useful uh, was it, it really only happened when we the community discovered a few years ago that um, potassium can reversibly um, electrochemically intercalate into graphite. Um, and that kind of kicked things off because uh, that that sort of changes the game that you can play with them. So so more broadly, I think that the uh, taking a step back, like when we talk about potassium ion batteries, you have a, a wide variety of choices in, in anode, cathode, and electrolyte. So this talk, uh, I'm going to be discussing a, a you know, a, a broad design that uh, you know, I have a lot of expertise in, and that that Project K is is uh, you know it, it's related to what we're working on, um, and I think that it's that's because it's the most promising um, you know broad uh, design for a rechargeable potassium ion battery. So what is it composed of? Um, on the negative side, we're using a conventional graphite anode, conventional in the sense that um, it's what lithium ion batteries use, and this is uh, we we already kind of need to pause and point out that this is in contrast to sodium ion batteries, uh, which have to use um, hard carbons or transition metal oxide, something else, because while lithium and potassium will uh, react with graphite reversibly, sodium does not. Sodium just doesn't go into the structure and it's uh, thermodynamically um, unstable. So it's kind of already a, um, you know an advantage of the potassium system versus certain kinds of, of sodium ion batteries. Um, on the negative side, we also get to use a, a, an aluminum current collector as opposed to copper because potassium, um, unlike lithium, will not alloy with aluminum at low voltages. So whereas lithium ion has to use copper, which is very expensive, 
um, it really contributes to the bill of materials on a per kilowatt hour basis.